at notes, and this was actually a question. Uh, pu- it was public. So this was actually a question from my dad. Um, he asked. Uh, Is he, he watching? Is your dad watching? Uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Fucking with you, man. I don't know, but uh, I know he's not watching. So. <laughs> he watched uh, the the Fox News Sunday thing and reached out to oh, me. Oh hell yeah. Um, he, yeah, I guess he, he had some nice things to say. But uh, he asked, uh, does he, do you have a political bent? If not, what philosophy do you uh, subscribe to? Anarchism or what? How has your philosophy evolved? Uh, That's a deep question. <laughs> I like I like that. It's a certainly multiple questions. Um, of course, I have a philosophy. I'm I'm in general an individualist, right? I'm, a, I'm an American individualist. Uh, I think I'm a, a practicing anarchist. I have a deep hostility to the state, which is more than theoretical. It's quite practical. My bona fides on fighting the state are as good as any man's you might you might meet. I would hope at this point. So I hope that's not in doubt that I am a at least an antagonist of the great state, the United States, and it's now it's several states, it's little powers. Um, but of course, this isn't a politics by itself. Uh, I believe in the radical conscience of the individual. I take a Nietzschean, I don't know, a Nietzschean like cast of, of the view of history. I think that democratic institutions are regrettable, but unfortunately, like they're prop, like liberal institutions are the best we've got. But we have to resist liberal institutions because. The only thing to be gained uh, through them, by them, is in overcoming them. Um, and it's probably the purpose of societies to produce like moments of genius and technical projects or like cultural projects of genius. And that's all that makes life worth living. And people have to be free to be able to pursue totally irrational, radical ends because that's the only place that like new things come from, the interrogation of like the irrational and the exuberant and the transcendent. And when you begin to actually explore things in these terms, you then get a contact with conservative philosophy to some degree, not necessarily revolutionary philosophy. But now you get to where my philosophy is heterodox. Who do I read? What have I evolved from? Uh, I'm, all my reading is post-Marxist. I believe deeply in, uh, in the semiotics and like uh, fatal strategies of, of Jean Baudrillard. Of course, that's how I try to do everything that I do. I don't believe in something like the real world. I don't believe that there is such a thing as the real world <laughs> or truth. <laughs> so I'm still a postmodernist, but my suspicion is that objects in the world are more intelligent than subjects and human beings, and that strategies like mine and use the use of the internet are more intelligent and more capable of defeating programs of rational structure and cybernetic control like from governments and individuals and human alliances 